Hey guys, David Yates here with Chelsea from my great CMA team. It's a great day. If, wherever you're at, guys, the weather's not great. You need to come to Florida. It is amazing. Look around, you guys. It's a Florida. Great Florida day here. And that's Clearwater Mini Aquarium right across the way. We're about 100 yards from that. And today we made an announcement of Winner's Ocean Warriors. We're announcing a campaign, a clean ocean campaign, challenging all of you guys to help us keep the oceans clean. And as part of that today, we actually have a little sea urchin here named... Harry. There it is, guys. Named Harry. And Harry was found by our, our summer campers. We have an amazing summer camp program here, found by our campers. A little bit about what happened. How did Harry get here? Uh, so Harry got here. He was found by one of our campers snorkeling uh, just out here in Clearwater Bay. Um, something was a little different about Harry, though. He had a hair accessory. Um, so Harry came back to the aquarium. Um, and this is just a really good example of how plastics uh, make an impact in our oceans. Uh, this hair clip wasn't necessarily harming Harry the sea urchin in, it, in any way. Um, he was using it as a camouflage method. Uh, so sea urchins will use their two feet to collect seashells, seagrass, and other uh, debris along the bottom, not normally plastic. Um, but sea turtles uh, really love to eat these sea urchins. So if a sea turtle uh, were to prey upon Harry the sea urchin, that could possibly have been ingested by that sea turtle, causing a lot of harm. So big or small, we rescue them all. You probably heard about Cheeto, Frito, and Funyun. Well, this is Harry here. And uh, this is the actual hair clip was found, actually was found on Harry, and we have a picture right here that shows that is a hair clip. So that's, what we, that's how Harry was found. We don't want that. Today's about getting rid of ocean debris, so we're kind of celebrating Harry's return to the wild to get that message out about be careful what you put in the oceans. These, even hair clips can cause problems. So we're going to do this right now. So we're going to go over here, and actually we have our dolphin tail actors here today. Yay! And they're actually going to help us. Here's, here's Nathan Gamble, Austin Highsmith, Sawyer, Phoebe, and Cozy Zildorf, who's Hazel. And Hazel's actually, uh, who is in the movie's real life name, Cozy, is going to help us actually hand Harry the sea urchin down to Chelsea. And, sh and Harry is going back home. So named after Harry Styles, not Harry Connick, but the other Harry, going back to the wild. So Chelsea's going to go in. And uh, again, we're about 100 yards, give or take, from Clearwater Mean Aquarium. And she's going to go down and do the release. Again, big or small, we rescue them all. So here you go, guys. And Cozy's going to actually hand Harry to Chelsea, and that will be the relay we're going to do today. And, guys, here you go. Back into the wild. Harry goes with no hair clip. No more hair clip for Harry. So there he goes. And uh, she'll go take Harry. And actually, we have Joe, our videographer, down there trying to get some video footage of that. The beautiful waters of Clearwater Bay here just next to Clearwater Marine Aquarium, guys. This is amazing stuff. We love doing this. This is fun stuff. We don't just rescue sea trolls and dolphins and otters. We also do sea urchins, seahorses, you name that. So say goodbye to Harry, guys. There you go. Harry is going back home. There you go. And a little symbolic of our announcement today of Winter's Ocean Warriors. We want everybody, guys, to minimize your ocean debris impact. And we're asking you to stop using, uh, minimize your bag, use of bags, bottles, and balloons as step one. But go to our website at seawinner.com and there is Harry. I think he's just about home right now. Chelsea is putting him down. Again, this is just adjacent to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. So guys, go to our website at seawinner.com, learn more about Winner's Ocean Warriors and please join us in uh, fighting for cleaner oceans all around the world. And we learned some amazing stuff today about all the plastic and debris in the oceans. And we just saw a plastic bottle float by here a few seconds ago, by the way, ironically. And, for example, there's 46,000 pieces of plastic in every square mile of the ocean, believe it or not. 46,000 pieces of plastic. So this is kind of just an example of what we can do. To, and, of course, Harry was a victim of ocean debris in that sense. And we're now putting him back into a natural habitat where he'll be fine and do well. So that's what it's all about. So Harry is just about there. And, again, please go to our website at seawinner.com. So, Nathan Gamble, what was it like today? Kind of, we had a nice, fun talk about the oceans. What do you think about all this? Yeah, no, this is awesome. It just shows, I mean, some people might think, oh, it's just a sea urchin, but it just shows how much care that CMA puts into all marine life, which I think is really cool. Um, and it all because it's the hair clip. So I think the solution is that we all should just shave our heads. I like that. That's good. We, we can do that. Starting with you. Go ahead, Nathan. Yeah, we like to watch that live on Facebook. We can do that. So, all right, great idea. So we'll get Chelsea over here and say a few words, have her say a few words about that. And then we'll talk to uh, Cozy and Austin too real quick. And get, guys, come see us. The actors are here for another couple days. Come see us at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And, of course, our amazing rescued animals we have, including Winter Hope and the Nicholas, our third rescued dolphin. So, uh, Cozy, what do you think? That's kind of cool, right? How often do you get to be involved in releasing a sea urchin, right? 
I know. It's absolutely amazing. And actually, we were involved in a turtle release. Yeah. Um, was it our last visit? I think so. A couple, couple, couple of visits yeah, yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this release is special not only because, like you said, no rescue is uh, too big or too small, but also because the hair clip was yep. attached and sea, and sea urchins are often preyed upon right, by sea right, turtles. Right, right, so. Right. If, if this didn't happen, which was, if the camper, the little camper didn't see, you could have rescued the turtle that ingested We're going to show a quick video, and then we're going to come back and do close. We have a quick video here, so here we go on that. All right, so Harry is back where Harry belongs. How, how do we choose the location? What was the process to go through about where we decided to put Harry? Uh, so sea urchins eat uh, seagrass and detritus, which is broken down plant matter. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're putting him back in a really prevalent food source for him. So we um, swam over to the edge of the mangrove trees here and chose a really nice sea grass bed area to release Harry. So Harry pretty much has a buffet now to live off exactly. of. So there you go. Austin Highsmith, last comments. Fun day. We announced Winter's Ocean Warriors. What do you think about all this? Well, I think it's it's awesome that we released a, a sea urchin today because we're talking about like taking little steps. And so this is like a little step that they've taken at CMA to help marine life around the area. So it's, you know, we can all take little steps. We can all do little things like stop using uh, one-use plastic bags and different things like that. So I think it's really great. Three B's, which is bottles, bags, balloons, and I think we should add baldness, too. Baldness? Yeah, just... Yeah, Nathan's going to shave his head so no hairpins get caught in the ocean again, right? So let's all watch Nathan right now, live. Go, Nathan, go! <laughs> Who's got the razor? We'll do it right now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That'll be episode number two And Nathan's... Anyway, but guys, thanks for being here today, guys. Go to seawinner.com backslash wow if you want. Learn about winners, ocean warriors. Become a winter ocean warrior. Work with us on keeping the oceans clean from debris. Do whatever you can do, guys. Come see us at CMA, guys. We're about rescue, rehab, and release. Guys, thanks. Have a great day. God bless.